Hello, so today we're going to be talking about knots and ropes for rescue. And there's a lot to talk about, and we have to start somewhere. So let's start by talking a little bit about rope construction. This is rope, and this is called kern mantle, and it's from the European, which, which refers to the kern or the core and the mantle which is the sheath, or outer part, and protective part for the rope. Now it turns out that both the sheath and the kern go into the integrity of the rope. So both are part of the important structure of the rope for strength. But it also turns out that on a kern mantle rope, the sheath does protect the core somewhat. There are a lot of different ways to classify ropes. One of the most important ways to look at ropes are based on the different elasticity of the rope. And it turns out that a climbing rope is what's called a dynamic rope. And what that means is that a climbing rope has a lot of elasticity, which you want if you take a long fall on a rope. You want it to bungee, so it doesn't break your back and other important parts of your body. However, if you're doing rescue, for example, you want something called a static rope, which doesn't bungee, doesn't stretch. Why? If you're hanging off a cliff, uh, you're repelling with a patient and a litter, and uh, you've got a lot of weight in there, and you've got 300 feet of rope out. You're going to be bungeeing up and down, which makes it really hard to concentrate on patient care, and it's very disconcerting for rescuers and for patients. So, typically in rescue, it's static. Typically for sport climbing, it's dynamic, and it's basically a function of how stretchy the rope is.